All right, we are live. Ladies and gentlemen, hope everybody's having a great day. Hope everyone's getting ready for Thanksgiving and Turkey Day. Uh, so we got TikTok, IG, and Facebook right here. Um, I'll be looking right here, talking to my man Dave, and we're going to be talking to Dave uh, today about uh, how he's lost 12 pounds in the last seven weeks uh, despite traveling, despite having kids, despite having a crazy schedule. He had a crazy layover the other day he was just telling me about. <laughs> so like he's still making it happen um, and we're gonna just like find out how he's doing this. Um, I want to ask him some questions, see where he's at and we'll go from there. So like um, before we begin, just like give us a little bit of a, you know, about who you are, how old are you? What do you do for work? Where are you from? Give us, give us all the goodness. <laughs> give us your, your Tinder profile. <laughs> hey, everyone. So my name is Dave. Uh, I live here in San Diego, uh, originally from the Chicago area. Uh, been out in San Diego for about 15 years. Came out here and made a family, uh, living for myself, a lifestyle. And uh, now I've been here and, and, and you know. I don't plan on going anywhere anytime soon, unless these prices keep rising. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. But, uh, no, uh, California. 40 years old. Yeah, 40 years old. Just hit the 40 club this year, so uh, I guess I'm a 50 over the hill. But uh, <laughs> uh, I can I can feel it sometimes when I wake up. But you know, yeah, I, I still feel great though. And then, uh, and then, um, what do you do for work? Like, uh, just so people know how active or not yeah. active you are. Absolutely. Yeah, so I am the uh, director of business development for a private security company here in San Diego. So uh, I do spend a lot of time, a lot of my time on the road. So as uh, you heard Fatty mention earlier, uh, I do have a hectic travel schedule. So uh, I am quite gone a lot. So yeah, yeah. Also, yeah, Dave's been traveling. Um, just got back last Monday. Yeah. Last yeah, last Monday on a crazy layover. Still getting his workouts in. <sighs> Uh, we'll still, still get, uh, seen that scale move down. Um, so like before we worked together, Dave, um, you know, you were, you were stuck and you were struggling a bit. So, um, tell me what was your biggest struggle, um, before joining Real Results Fitness and before us working together? Yeah. Well, my biggest struggle was eating. Uh, I mean, I would go to the gym, you know, maybe three times, a, three times a week, maybe four. Uh, I would do workouts, you know, I would go in there and, you know, lift heavy and, you know, thinking I'm rad, trying to be this big guy in, in the gym. My biggest issue was the food. Yeah. I would still come home and I would eat whatever I want. Yeah. I wasn't eating, I wasn't uh, taking my protein like I was supposed to. I was eating fried food and snacks and cakes and uh, a little bit, uh, I'm kind of a midnight snacker, so I had yeah. a big issue with that too. Okay. So when you... You got two kids in the house, and uh, you know midnight rolls around, and you got a little craving for a, a little donut or something. <laughs> you probably go get it. So uh, the, the snacks are easily accessible food. everywhere. Yeah, easily accessible. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was uh, one of my, my biggest downfalls. Okay. And how often were you working out uh, before we worked together? Uh, it varied. Uh, I would work out maybe two to three times a week okay possibly four okay so like anywhere from two three or even four times a week on on, on good weeks um and then yeah. um and you were putting in the work so like it's not like you weren't consistent with the working out but like it was just the eating you had it sounds like you had uh not a lot of structure with it is that like safe Correct. yeah that is very true. Yeah, no structure with it. Yeah. At all. <laughs> so, so with the the midnight snacking, which we've all been um, guilty of, and everything, and and especially like uh, for those parents that are out there that um, are like you were or are in your shoes, um, you know that's a very common thing as far as like having those snacks around, like keeping yeah. keeping the kids quiet as much as possible. Yeah. Um, yeah. So with like the snacking and not feeling like you were like basically eating for your goals, like how <clears throat> how was this negatively impacting you um, uh, through throughout this process? Like when you were working out and not seeing progress. I mean, like I'm, it could tell on the scale. Mm -hmm. You know, you could see it on the scale. I'd be working out, but the scale is not moving. It's actually going up. It's not going backwards. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not going down. You know, so it's. uh 
You're like, I'm putting on muscle. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. You can kind of know in the back of your head, you're like, dang, you know better. You can't go do these workouts and sit here and eat this food. Like, it's, right. And then you, then you try to talk to yourself, well, oh, I'm just leveling myself out. It'll be okay. I can work out. And, you know? <laughs> yeah. My, my body's getting accustomed or something yeah, like that, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. You start making, you're in denial pretty much. Mm. So mm-hmm. you're, you're definitely in denial. How long? How long? Um, like, were you struggling with that? With the with the working out, and then kind of like eating the calories that you yeah. that you worked out. Like, how how long were you? Did you? Would you say you were struggling with that? Dude, years. Yeah, absolutely years. Like, I honestly, before I joined this program, I had no idea about macros. I, okay, I was ignorant to that and had no clue what that was. And so and when I first met you and you went over macro, I'm like, wow, this is, this is, this is huge. Yeah. You know, so. <laughs> yeah. I was elementary on that. Now, but now, you know. <laughs> yeah. Totally get it. It was like a whole new world unlocked, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, it, it did. I'm like, oh my goodness. I've been missing out the whole time. <laughs> yeah. It's like a, it's like a joke in the fitness industry where it's like, you see it like the, you see food like the matrix now. Like you don't see it as yeah. like. Oh, this is this. You just see it as like, this is protein, this is fats, and these are carbs. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. so, um, so, you know, we, you and I, Dave, like, we know each other through a mutual friend. We, we met each other in the, like, years ago through a mutual mm-hmm. friend. Um, but we didn't really know each other personally. We met one time. Um, so when, you know, when you and I started talking about like a program, um, what was some of the initial hesitations of working with me? The initial hesitation was the fact that, uh, it was online. You were an online coach and I wasn't too familiar about that. You know, I was always thinking about working out with a, a personal trainer that, that I'm actually here with and we're in the gym together and we're working out and we're pushing you. So that was the initial hesitation that I had. Yeah. Um, so, so, um, what have you okay from the hesitation could you tell me could you tell me a little bit more about that like as far as you you wanted you thought you needed one-on-one but can you tell me a little bit more about that as opposed to like what we're doing now obviously online yeah i mean obviously you you know i thought i needed one-on-one because sometimes i just need that extra push in the gym Mm -hmm. and uh you know i'm like okay i i'm in the gym sometimes i I gotta get the last rep up and i don't have anybody to Hey, get that last rep. Right. You know, you, you got this day and, or, or better yet, you know, I might be doing a workout wrong and, you know, I, I don't have anybody there to correct me. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, moving yeah. a little bit ahead of myself, your app is wonderful because it's pretty much like you're there, but you're not there. Yeah. You know, so I get to see how to do the workouts and see if I'm, if I'm doing it correctly with the video that you have that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you thought like before joining, you thought you kind of needed like, like almost like a drill sergeant or someone like in your ear, like, yo, like push yeah. another rep out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> little, little did I know you were like a drill sergeant, but don't like <laughs> I'll be out. scaring people, man. <laughs> I mean, in a, in a good way. In a good yeah, way. yeah, in a good way. He's like, I got to go back to his program. I got to <laughs> say the right yeah, thing. Kept me accountable, brother. That's, what I, that's one thing I can say. Yeah, <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, can, can you dive a little bit into that? Because... I think a lot of people are in your exact shoes. Like they think that, you know, you need to, they need somebody there. They need somebody almost like waking them up, pouring a bucket of water over their head, right? To get them yeah, to go to the yeah. gym. Um, and I, I don't think you, you were thinking the bucket, but like, you know, you thought you needed somebody to push you for an extra set or extra rep or whatever. Um, so going from what you thought to like where we're at now, can you tell the people like some of what you have experienced with online training as opposed to what you thought you needed? Yeah. I mean, a, a quick story. Uh, <laughs> so this is my second go around with, with coach. Okay? Yeah. The first go around, you know, I'm thinking like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to learn something, but I, I'll, you know, I can, I've been doing this. I can, I can lift on my own and, uh, have to track everything, have to weigh yourself every day. Uh, I mean, things like that to keep you accountable. And there's been a few times I told my friends, I'm like, you know what? He knows what I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> he knows what I'm lying. He, you know, I, I might put something down on the scale and then the macro's not adding up. He's like, Dave, this, this doesn't look right. I'm like, oh, he caught me. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, 
I need this guy. I need this guy. This, this is what I want. This yeah. And a, and, a, and a coach and uh, to help me with my fitness journey, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, so, uh, so you felt like you have more accountability with, with online than, absolutely, than was one on one. That's absolutely, yeah. And just uh, you know, just take it back a little bit. The second time, you know, uh, that I'm working with you, I had weighed off some different options with other coaches as well. Mm. You know, thinking, you know, hey, let me try this guy out. He's in San Diego area. You know, even though I know the online is great, right? He was a friend of mine too, so I okay. personally knew this guy. So I hopefully, he's not watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, he possibly is. Yeah, yeah. You know why I chose to go with you? I, I let him know. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, yeah. I pretty much knew that you know working with you, I knew what I was gonna get. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I knew I was gonna get that accountability. I knew I was gonna get everything that I needed. Um, just just staying engaged and active in your program. You're always posting something. Uh, you know, some educational. You're always uh, you know pushing us. You're always encouraging us you know so th- those things are things i need like i don't want to go and invest in a coach and you know he doesn't he never checked in with you or mm. you know i'm waiting on him to check in with me like uh where's coach like i haven't heard anything in a week and yeah you know, he's out somewhere doing push-ups or something. <laughs> <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> so I-, I know what i wanted and so I- that's why that's one reason why i came back to you yeah i appreciate that i appreciate it i didn't know you were you were out uh coach shopping or trainer shopping yeah, but yeah. so so what um <laughs> So like yeah, there are lots of like coaches, there are lots of trainers, there's like ebooks and all this stuff out there. Um why so I think you kind of touched on it, but like the main reason that you decided to work with me again with like if you had to narrow it down to one thing, what would you say? Uh for me, uh you know what you're doing. Like you're you're very educated on what you're doing. Appreciate that. Um I, I love that about you. You know, you're not just taking guesses. If you don't know it right then and now or right then and there, like you'll come back to me. Hey, Dave, this is what I found out. You know, so yeah. uh, you're very knowledgeable. So, Appreciate that. Uh, not only am I getting, you know, looking good, and you know, I'm also, I'm also, you know, educating myself on on things. So it's, it's an educational program too, as well as a looking good program. Yeah. So. <laughs> no, I appreciate that. Yeah, I, I think um, because I've done like. I've been, I've been, it's funny because when, like, you know, I'm the trainer now, but, like, I've been in the shoes of everybody, every single one of, like, clients, like, that's why I could, I feel like I could relate with you guys so much because I've done the, like, no carbs and stuff like that, and then I would lose the weight and I would look great and feel great, but then I would, like, gain it back, so Mm -hmm. I do want to make sure, and uh, I did want to make sure, like, when I kind of, like, had this program going is to, to educate Instead of just like tell you what to do because right. like that's cool and you'll get some quick results, but like if you don't have the knowledge of it, it's um it, it gets frustrating because <laughs> then you're like <laughs> I only gotta go like I gotta go for me I was just like all right I gotta go all out and I know I'm gonna make progress but then I don't know how I'm gonna keep it so <laughs> that's really cool to hear from the uh, from the other side like hearing hearing you say that I appreciate that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so <clears throat> it's in the title here. Um, you've lost 12 pounds in the last seven weeks this go around. Um, what other um, uh, results have we been able to accomplish together so far? Uh, other results? I mean, like I said earlier, uh, I'm, just, I'm learning a lot more. So it, it's more than just, you know, losing weight. Like um, I'm learning, like constantly learning, you mm-hmm. know. Uh, you always send it some new recipes about something, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and like and like I said, I'm always on the go. I'm always traveling. So you you'll send a video. Hey, when you travel, this is what you should take. Yeah. You know, do your proteins here and take this here. Or, you know. So those things help me a lot. I appreciate you know, when that. When I was in Chicago last week, you know, you and I talked, and we was like, Dave, this is what you need to do. Take this. Take that. You, you know, weren't just in Chicago. He was at a family reunion. So yeah. like we, yeah. <laughs> we, I was like, all right, we're gonna so we're gonna nail this down. Stuff. Yeah. Say it again. I'm sorry. I still lost weight. I said, well, lots of soul food and everything like that, but I still lost weight. Yeah. <laughs> Came back and you were just like right on it already. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. That was, that was, that was cool. Cause I was like, all right, this is what we're going to do. You're like, cause I remember you're like, I'm going to try my best. And I was like, nah, this, yeah. we're going to, we're going to outline it for you. <laughs> and yeah, that was cool, man. For, to see you come back and then lose weight. Um, despite yeah. like having like red eyes and all this stuff. 
Oh my um, <laughs> and, and having soul food all around you and traveling, yeah. like, yeah, yeah man. And, and it's funny, like, I always say this, like, you know, you, you hear me say this a lot, but if, if you guys can do it now, right? Like, well, like, now, I guess, right, during the crazy time of year, but if you could do it anytime when your life is super busy and hectic and crazy and you feel like the odds are stacked up against you, like, you could do it at any time. And that's, Absolutely. I think that's one of the most important things to prove to yourself is like when people run across an injury, like everything's easy. It's easy to work out or lose weight when like you have two months or three months of freedom, but like when it's the holidays and then you get an injury and then you have to fly and then you got to yeah. travel and visit people. Like when you could do it that way, even if you're just like maintaining your weight during that time, you could do it at any time. So mm-hmm. proud of you for that, man. Like that was, yeah. that was cool yeah. to see, bro. That was cool to see, I, man. I always hear your voice in the back of my head <laughs> and I don't want to get up and work out or something's hard or I'm stressed out. I can just hear your Okay, you're stressed up when? Get up. Go. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Let's make it happen. What's the alternative? <laughs> no, no. Like, so I always hear your voice and I keep that voice in the back of my head and it, and it gets me going. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, bro. That's, that's, that's great to hear, man. <laughs> Not the like scary part, but just like, the, you know, the like the fact that, yeah. you know, you know that um, they were going to, you know, continuously check in on you and everything. Yeah. Um. So... So we've talked about those results, but like, talk to me for a second about like outside of online training and outside of actually working out, seeing the scale move down, feeling stronger, like outside of that stuff, yeah. what would you say has been um, some of the biggest changes that you've been seeing in your life? Uh, the discipline for me personally, uh, you know, even if this turns into my work life as well. So mm. just taking care of doing the things, the hardest things first. Yeah. You know, everybody wants to do the easiest things first and, you know, take the time, you know, do the hardest things first. Like, uh, going, I know it's not about fitness, but going back to fitness, mm-hmm. I wake up at five in the morning when I go to the gym. I don't have to do it at five in the morning. I can do it later in the evening. Yeah. It's, it's part of that discipline. Yeah. You know, getting up, going to the gym, working out and, you know, making yourself get up and go, you know, so all that, you know, transcends into the work life as well. So, uh, not only fitness, but work life, uh, and, you know, just, Making the taking the hardest things first and, and knocking them out every day, and that that builds the discipline. Absolutely, and your mindset. Yes, if you guys are watching live, put type this in the comments if you're watching live. Type discipline over motivation, because like motivation, man, like you could just <laughs> like YouTube motivation, and you'll find a million things right now. Um, but it's about that discipline, because like when when like clients join, I ask them, I'm like, all right, like cool, you know, we got the program set up now, we got this going, but, like, when are you going to do your workouts? And I remember you, like, 5 a.m. first thing in the morning. I was like, all right, bet, so let's see. (laughs) So, yeah, man, so, like, he's making it happen no matter what. He's working out, um, five, like, he's working out 5 in the morning um, and making it happen. And so, like, that discipline that you're talking about right now, yeah, it's like discipline over motivation in the comments. That's what I'm talking about. Um, So, like, so... How has that transitioned into your into your life? Like, tell me about that. You said it transitioned into your work life. Like, how did that transition into your work life? Yeah, I mean, uh, I got a hectic schedule, so and I I deal with a lot of big companies and contracts, and you know, sometimes you get lost in the sauce. Sometimes, yeah, <laughs> it's the same. But uh, it just helps you to stay motivated, and you know, just just have a focus. You know, that focus is, is, is like a I, I don't know what word to use for it, but it, you know, you just want to go harder, mm-hmm. you know? So it's just like, you want to go harder in the gym. I want to go harder at work and, you know, just, just make things happen. Yeah. Yeah. So like you, you were able to, like, it sounds like you're able to just kind of like, you're on autopilot. Like you don't, you don't, you don't miss on your workouts. Like you I'm never worried about that. Like, I know you're going to hit your workouts. Like you're on autopilot with that. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, what, what else? So like, Cause 12 pounds is a significant amount of weight. Like mm-hmm. what else has changed outside of just like working out and getting stronger? I mean, to be honest with you, the first time you and I worked out together, you know, I did okay. Mm-hmm. The second time I had something to prove. Yeah. Like, you know? Yeah. It, it, no, we did good the we, first time. We, so we still did. Yeah, we, yeah, no, we, we did great. Yeah. We did great, but I feel like I could do better. Like 
I could push myself. Mm. You know, nothing from you, but yeah, for me, I felt like I could push myself a little bit harder. Yeah. So this time, this go around, I was like, I'm not playing around. Like, this is <laughs> this is personal. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so I pretty much got a contract with myself. Like, hey, you're gonna you're gonna get to this this level, and you know, you're gonna stay here, and you're gonna go harder. And, uh, you know, one thing I thought I could do was the, the first time I left the program after, um, after we finished our, mm-hmm. our, our, our workouts and everything, I thought, okay, I got all the workouts. I, I think I can do this by myself now. You know, it'd be mm-hmm. fine. I, I know exactly what I'm doing. No, so that, that failed miserably. <laughs> and I was like, I, I need fatty again. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I, I need it. Like, it's just, you, you think you can do it sometimes and. It, it doesn't work. Yeah. And I think, I don't <laughs> think, I think it's, um, like that you bring up an interesting point, man, because I think a lot of people like, and trust me, like I'm talking from like, I'm saying me myself, like a lot of us, we think we could do everything on our own sometimes, but it's like, mm-hmm. you know, having that, it's like you go to a bank so they could do their work with your money, right? <laughs> like, not so you're like, okay, I'm going to store it in this piggy bank here I have at home yeah. or whatever. So I think a lot of people, and especially when it comes to like in the fitness realm and in, in fitness, like they almost feel like ashamed or to ask for help because they feel like, well, all the stuff is out there, right? All the um, all the exercises are out there. All the workouts are out there. Like, why do I need help from somebody else? And I think it's like, uh, I, th- I think there's nothing wrong. Like I, like I even have, because of like all the injuries and whatnot that I've sustained, like I even have a fitness coach and I'm, a, and I'm a coach. So like, I think it's important for everybody to, everybody that's watching now, listening uh, on the replay or watching the replay. Like, I think it's important to just sometimes put our ego aside and just be like, you know what? Like I have so much, like you're a parent as well. Like, you know, I think the majority of people on the program are, are parents or planning to be or whatnot, but like you already have so much on your plate and then now you're like, okay, let me do research on macros and what's the best exercise and do this. It's like, I think just everybody having their job, right? Like you being a parent, you doing your job, you doing what you need to be doing and you focus on that solely and I'll help <clears throat> you on this side. So that way yeah. you could become the better, the best version of yourself in all those other aspects and areas of your life yeah absolutely yeah you're right (laughs) yeah man i think it's uh i'm very passionate about that because i think a lot of people just like they're just like ah i'm gonna try it on my own it's like cool and you know the whole point of this program right is is to be self-sufficient is to Mm -hmm. is to get that accountability but also sometimes just like letting go of that power i think is yeah huge you know yeah 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 man so um for anyone that's that is like listening right now, Dave, like, um, and thinking about starting their own fitness journey, um, you know, whether with Real Results Fitness or just to it, or just like on their own, um, what would you say to somebody that is like kind of getting uh, started on their own journey? Jump in, jump in now, just just do it. Uh, I hate to say that cliche Nike term, whatever. Yeah, really, just do it. Like, don't hesitate. Uh, you know, you think about it, you're trying to think about it and down the road, you're like, oh, I'll do it in two months, I'll do it in three months, and then you, you're losing time, you, lose, you won't gain any momentum. Yeah. Uh, then something will come up three months later and you can't do it, and it's going to it's gonna be a trickle effect. So, you know, if you have the, the means and opportunity to do it now, just, just jump in and do it. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah, jump right into it. Absolutely. And then... It's, it's worth it. Yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah, it's, I mean, yeah, it's funny because I think that like term or whatever is like set like spread out a lot like health as well it's like gotta invest yeah. in myself <laughs> but it's like i think i posted on my story the other day it's like uh investing in yourself or like taking care of your health isn't like going to a spa and getting a massage it's like it's like doing the hard like you were saying in the beginning of this it's like doing that hard shit and doing that hard yeah. work that like you've got to just like face like waking up five in the morning and getting your workout in Cause you know that it's going to be crazy later in the day. Like, exactly. Yeah, man. Exactly. Um, yeah. so, um, who like this? So now you know how I work, you know how this program works, who, who, or what type of a person would you recommend this type of a, like real results fitness and this type of a program to? 
I mean, this program is good for anybody. I mean, like, like, you know, you mentioned earlier, you know, I'm a parent. I'm pretty sure a lot of people in the chat, their parents, uh, we have busy lifestyles. We have hectic schedules. Uh, you know, we got parent, con- uh, teacher conferences, <laughs> and, you know, all types of things. But, uh, I mean, it, it, it's for anybody and especially people with busy schedules like myself. So, uh, I mean, if I could do it, I, I know a lot of people can do it too. So. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, man. So, Thank you so much. Do you have anything anything you'd like to leave the people with? Look, jump in. Jump in if you can. Like, <laughs> I'm not paying him to say this. <laughs> yeah, no, not at all. I'm not getting paid to say this. I'm serious. But, you know, like I said, this time is personal for me. Yeah. So, uh, jump in. Do it. It's, it's worth it. Yeah. Yeah. It's worth it. For sure. Very cool. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. If you guys are watching on replay or listening on replay, put hashtag replay. If you're watching live, hashtag I'm here. So I know you made it this far. Um, yeah, Dave. So we're just getting started, man. We're only seven weeks into the program. He's already 12 pounds down. Uh, we'll probably follow up, uh, in another like seven to 10 weeks and see where he's at at that point. And, uh, I just do a like kind of a follow up video. I think, I think that's a good way of keeping you accountable because we had, Absolutely. we had, um, uh, Patty the first day, she's like, all right, I'm going to be back and I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to lose another 20 pounds. And then we had RC. She was like, I got some, say, she said something similar. She's like, I got, I've got more work to do. So we'll, we'll be back with Dave with another follow up. Uh, now uh, you got added yeah. accountability. So if, if you get some friend requests or something, <laughs> you know what they're about to do. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm ready. Cool. Cool. All right, man. Everybody have a great Thanksgiving. Dave, thank you so much uh, for attending Hangout uh, after. And uh, that's it, guys. Hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And we'll talk later. Bye.